Cambridge's strike back. Kate and William to drop major bombshell on Meghan and Harry's Time 100 cover. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are launching a strike back after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the front cover of Time magazine, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were recently honoured with the prestigious accolade of being named in Time magazine's illustrious list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Meghan and Harry said they were humbled to be featured in the publication as bold new images of the royal couple sent royal fans into a spin. But royal experts have suggested the new photos risk inflaming a PR battle between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their royal relations abroad as young members of the firm jostle for prime position. Commenting on the photos, royal commentator and author Duncan Larkham sensationally claimed Kate and William were concerned as, unlike Harry and Meghan, they have no control over the narrative. He said, Kate and William are in danger of being dragged into a transatlantic popularity contest. They will feel anxious over the cover and everything Harry and Meghan do as it always seems to reflect on them. And now commentator Daniela Elza has suggested the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are staging a strike back with their charitable endeavours. She said, there is now something of a philanthropic land grab going on with the royal house and the breakaway state of Sussex now both laying claim to similar ground. She added, Harry and Meghan face being forced into a protracted PR battle with the royal house. Meanwhile, a royal expert has warned Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should not expect a warm welcome from the rest of the family as speculation continues to rise on when they will next return to the UK. And with their daughter Lilibet yet to meet her great-grandmother, there has been speculation over when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will next visit the UK, as well as what reception they will receive from the other royals. Now, the Daily Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers has claimed that the reception for any return in the near future will be frosty. Speaking on the Pod Save the Queen podcast, he suggested, I don't think there's been any real push to come over. I think that the tensions are still very high in that sphere of things. The Oprah Winfrey interview seems to be still very fresh in the memory for a lot of people. So whether they would be welcomed back with open arms to sit around the Christmas table, I wouldn't bet on that at the moment. Russell explained that the Royal Institution is busy preparing for other events, including the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which takes place next year. I think there are an awful lot of other things going on at the moment, the royals are certainly putting their attention to trying to get back to work over the next week or so, he continued. But, he suggested, the Sussexes will need to get used to their new working and family relationship with the rest of the family if they are to go forwards with their new lives. He claimed, I think the business of the monarchy has to be treated very very differently. If they do want to have a relationship with the Queen, and they do want to be on the balcony for trooping, and at the Queen's Jubilee, and to be representing the British monarchy in that sense, then surely you've got to toe the line a little bit. It comes as the Duke of Sussex has taken part in a joint family venture to commemorate the life of his late grandfather, Prince Philip. Harry and William will join other senior royals in paying tribute to the Duke of Edinburgh in a BBC film in what could be the first signs of the brothers' rift beginning to thaw. Neither Meghan nor the Queen has taken part in the documentary, which will air on Wednesday at 9pm on BBC One. The Duchess of Cambridge and other spouses of the Queen and Philip's grandchildren also will not appear.